it was the uh, prior to coming to Lakeland, um, college baseball opened up on the uh, Valentine's Day, and, and they had a big college tournament in Phoenix, the 14th, 15th, 16th. And so on my way to Lakeland, you know, we had talked about this months prior to about coming out and, you know, checking out and seeing, uh, um, you know, some of the college teams. Michigan was there. Vanderbilt was there. Obviously, Bay State being one of the home, uh, home teams. Um, so it was a great opportunity to see, you know, Cork and a few of the other guys. But what stood out, and we keep going back to the athleticism, but a couple of points that we, we obviously we were there for a reason. He was one of them. We wanted to watch him take ground balls, which we did. And his arm strength on the ball across the diamond, you know, they do some different drills and things in college. But not only did he throw to third, but threw some to second. And it's just not a normal, it's a better than average arm strength. His footwork. And then last night when you're watching, Harold Reynolds was doing the breakdown on him and they showed a clip of him running the bases. That's another thing that really stood out on, again, this is, this is not a normal guy. And that's why we feel that we can try him over at third. And I say, try, we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. And because of those, all of those things, we believe that he can do it. And it remains to be seen, but this guy, again, he has plus power, as Scott mentioned. First at bat, I saw him as he had a 3-1 count. And the right fielder, when I look back, the guy was playing almost on the warning track and hit the ball just about off the wall. The guy made a very nice catch over his head uh, going into the wall. I'm thinking, whoa. And the next time up, 3-2, and two, a slider. They measured it at 435 feet. Now, 3-2, and two, you're not looking to do, but just, you know, make a good solid contact. Right. And he had a home run that far on a slider. He is a strong young man, and he's athletic and good, good arm strength. So when you add all that thing, all that together, you go, we got a special guy. There's no question about it. We hope that it's, you know, going to be soon, but obviously everybody's on their own time frame. But uh, this is a special player, and we're happy to have him. Thank you. Thanks for doing this, both of you guys. You're welcome. Thanks, Chris. Uh, i got time for a couple more questions. We'll first go to Jeff Seidel, who had a question for Scott, and then we'll go to uh, Jeff Metcalf, who had a question for Tram. So uh, first up is Jeff. Hey, thank you. Uh, Scott, it's, it's interesting. A lot of things you're, you're talking about right now are the little things that uh, you saw when you saw him in person. How hard has this draft been to prepare for with the virus? And you didn't see high school kids. You probably didn't see a lot of the guys who you might be drafting later. What kind of challenges has this been? Well, it's definitely been a challenge. It's definitely been different. Um, gosh, looking back on it, I'm glad Tram and I got a chance to get out and see something, you know, so that helped. Um, didn't get a chance to see a lot of the players, a lot of the high school guys, which, you know, we would have loved to have done that. Um, and I tell you, just the fact of not being able to see these guys and, and, and you know, because – you see, you see a little something different every time you see him. You see him good, you see him bad, you see him do certain things, and, and sometimes you see him fail, and it helps you make a decision that, you know, how they handle that, which is a, is a good thing, good or bad. Uh, you see a lot of different things, but it's – and you, you get a chance at the end to make uh, – you get more information to make the best decision you can. So it's been tough, but I'll tell you this. I don't know how you guys sit in front of a computer all day because I have never been home at this time of year. I think maybe 12 was the last time I was home and sitting and doing meetings on zoom all day and doing this is wearing me out. I like <laughs> going to the games and seeing the players and talking to my guys and seeing tram out on the road and, and checking in with those guys. This is killing me. And I haven't moved in about a month two, three months. So I don't know. So it's been different, to say the least. If I could follow up, did, did you find yourself studying like the swing more or a delivery or, or just on what you can see in maybe a video, an old video of somebody? I just think now we look at it anyway. I mean, before we, you know, uh, you know, talk about a pitcher or a hitter, we're, we're obviously, we looked at his mechanics live and we're, we're making a, uh, and analyzing that guy's swing or, or that guy's arm actual delivery then. And then we're also looking back at the video on the days we weren't there to see him so we could get the whole picture. So we do, do, we do that anyway, but in this case, you do it so much, you're like, uncle, you know? I mean, how many more – I mean, I think, you know, I, I've, I've seen so many swings of torque and 
some of the other guys in this draft enough. You know, I think sometimes you can look at it too much. But uh, you got to prepare. You got to do everything, and that's just the way it went this year. Um, and uh, I think it worked out because I think we got a really good player. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Uh, no problem. Thanks, Jeff. And last question, we'll go to uh, Jeff Metcalf from the uh, Arizona Republic. Uh, yeah, I was going to ask Alan if he could talk a little more about, you, you've kind of referred to um, Spencer's play discipline, his patience. Mm -hmm. um, he's taken a lot of walks. Um, and the power just seems to come naturally. He doesn't seem to force it, not many strikeouts. Can you just go into that a little bit more and why that makes him such a, such a good hitter? Well, um, that's, a, that's a good question. And again, just uh, some guys have it and some guys don't. And uh, this is, again, to the hard work. High school, again, uh, he was an unknown. Uh, but the fact that, uh, you know, our scouts have seen him you know, over the last few years, um, I saw the first couple of bats that I described. I also saw a game, you know, where he didn't get a hit and he struck out and that's going to happen as well. You can see, and, and obviously we've been doing this for quite a while and seeing a lot of games, um, that he has good recognition. He sees the ball out of the pitcher's hand. Scott alluded to his base and it's a shorter swing. Oftentimes power guys are trying to crank and create. He doesn't do that. And so that leads us to believe that it's going to be a little easier transition into professional baseball. Obviously, you're going to go through some ups and downs, but he is just, to his credit, he has done the work to this point to have a, a real nice package, so to speak, that it's going to be easier to work with. Um, he's just a strong young, young man. Again, he has a little bit of a lift in his swing that you see the power guys have, that when he hits it, it it's gone. It's just, it keeps going. It's you know, some of the guys that we've seen over the years, they hit a long fly ball and you're looking up, you're looking up. And the next thing you know, it's 10, 15 rows back into the stands. And, you know, it's going to play in Comerica Park too. I mean, it's one of the bigger ballparks in baseball, but no ballpark's going to hold torque. There's no question about it. So again, uh, just going back to the base of what he's accomplished now to this point, it's a simple swing, but he's a strong young man.